There's a lot of talk nowadays about player empowerment and athlete ownership, and the conversation surrounding these topics was heightened when Nike cut ties with Kyrie Irving back in November of 2022. Multiple questions were raised. If you're a signature athlete that has differing views and opinions than the company you represent, what stops that company from terminating their contract with you at a moment's notice if you say something they don't like? Also, while a top player may be a signature athlete for Nike, Adidas, or another big company, sure, it puts them an elite company, but at the end of the day, they are still an endorser of a company that is selling products with their name, image, and likeness without them having any ownership stake in the company or receiving any percentage of the sales. So what's the best example we have of an athlete venturing out from the norm of signature sneaker contracts and creating something they can call their own. Well, today, that's exactly what we're going to take a deep dive into by looking at why Dwayne Wade leaving Jordan to build his own brand was arguably the best business decision he made in his professional career. We'll see how the Wade brand and Way of Wade signature Li Ning sneaker has grown in influence and popularity in the NBA, and I'll showcase an in-hand look at the Way of Wade all city 11s we'll also break down how athletes like kyrie irving and younger players coming up can look to wade as an example of how to maximize a signature sneaker contract this is topic tackle let's go what's good people it's jc3 here appreciate you tuning in once again to topic tackle we dive deep into the basketball world here we see through all the storylines and narratives that are out there we give you the perspective that the media doesn't venture to so if you're ready to dive a little bit deeper and tired of the shallow analysis go ahead and hit subscribe leave a like on this video I greatly appreciate it. While there have been a number of players who have created their own signature sneaker brands in recent years, like Spencer Dinwiddie with his Kairos, I believe that's how you say that, and Langston Galloway with Ethics, in which Kyrie actually wore in a recent Mav shoot around, these haven't been scalable enough to become the model for future athletes who want to journey down this path. The backing from a larger company for the purposes of manufacturing, quality assurance, and advertising usually remains a necessity, and this isn't a bad thing by any means. It just means that the athlete's camp must know how to leverage and maximize their partnership. And with that in mind, here are the three trailblazers that stand out to me in this space. Of course, there's Michael Jordan with the Nike subsidiary Jordan brand. MJ has a 5% cut in the profits in his licensing deal with Nike. And according to front office sports, Nike's Jordan brand brought in $5.1 billion in fiscal 2022. Based on those figures, Jordan may have earned $256.1 million last year from licensing his name to Nike. Jordan and Nike paired in 1984, and there's a whole entire movie on that called Air, so I'll let Matt Damon and Ben Affleck deliver the details of that story to you. There's Steph Curry with Under Armour, who formed the subsidiary Curry brand with UA in 2020. For more on this historic deal within the basketball sneaker and apparel industry, you can check out the video I did on it in December of 2020. Link will be in the description and pinned comment. And then there's, for some reason, the often forgotten guy in the middle of these two, who in 2012 made arguably the best business decision of his career by leaving Jordan Brand and signing with the China-based company Li Ning to launch a new subsidiary brand named Wade. That's right, when Dwayne Wade inked his initial seven-year deal with Li Ning, not only did he become the brand's new lead athlete, but he also was given an equity stake in the company, one in which had reported $1.4 billion in revenue just a year before he signed with them. For more on why Wade decided to leave Jordan Brand for Li Ning, I also did an MD depth video on that, and you can find it in the description and pinned comment as well. Anyway, since signing with Li Ning over 10 years ago, Wade has won a championship in his Way of Wade signature shoe. He finished out a legendary NBA career. He signed a long-term partnership that has been referred to as a lifetime deal with the brand in 2018. He has seen 11 standalone Wade stores open in China. He recruited and signed D'Angelo Russell to the Wade brand, and he launched the U.S. Way of Wade web store in 2021. The signing of D'Angelo Russell in 2019 was huge for Li Ning and the Wade brand, as the multi-year endorsement made D'Lo the new on-court face of the brand following Wade's retirement. Being able to sign a player like Russell added even more credibility to Li Ning, who featured and would eventually feature big names such as Jimmy Butler, CJ McCollum, and Fred Van Vliet. At ComplexCon in 2021, Wade shared his thoughts on his near 10-year experience at the time working with Li Ning, saying, only thing I knew was I had signed a seven-year deal. And for seven years, I knew we would have a relationship that we would try to build something. And so 
to now be going into year 10 and see that, you know, we're still young. We're only 10 years into this thing and hopefully we can go 20, 30 and continue to watch the brand evolve from a leaning perspective and a way of Wade as well. I mean, to be able to walk away from the relationship I had with Converse and Jordan, which is Nike, that wasn't easy to do. But to be able to go into a place where I felt like they were going to build around me, I went into it with a long-term lifetime mentality, you know, and we're still rocking. Also in the interview at ComplexCon, D-Wade discussed how his son Zaire was being incorporated into the Wade brand saying, this is lifetime. This is not a let's get in and get some money and get out. This is longevity. This is his brand. And hopefully he's one of the faces and voices that we can sit down and say that this was a part of something special as we go into the next decade. Well, fast forward to today and Way of Wade has recently released the Wade Son of Flash signature sneaker with three different colorways available to the public on the US web store. And while I may have that shoe in my hands eventually, for now I have the Wade All City 11 in the Blossom colorway to show case in this video. In hand, well, these are lightweight and feature a custom designed heel TPU support along with an outer TPU support and stabilizers built within the sole for additional support. The full length boom midsole is comfortable and has great energy return and it's wrapped within a TPU midsole to reduce weight and improve the stability of the cushioning. Think of how Adidas wrapped the boost in the Harden Volume 1 to get responsiveness out of a highly cushioned midsole. That's the thought here. There's also a pro bar lock and anti-torsion system built into the rubber outsole to improve anti-roll performance and provide support protection. Finally, the upper features lightweight yet sturdy materials and the tongue has a premium feel to it. Overall, this is a responsive shoe that gives great court feel yet provides the right amount of cushion in the heel for impact protection. The All City 11s have been likened to having the feel of a Kyrie sneaker by wear testers and after playing them, I can confirm this statement. I'll be looking to review more of the Way of Wade signature sneakers down the line, so be sure to be on the lookout for that. And as someone who still likes to rock his KDs and LeBrons, you can expect my honest opinion and comparison of these and how they compare to some of the best tech and quality on the market. And you can find the entire Wade collection at wayofwade.com. The link will be in the description, so go ahead and check them out there. And getting back to Kyrie, I believe that what D. Wade and the team at Leaning have been able to produce over their 10 plus years your partnership can be a model to athletes like Irving and younger players coming up on how to maximize a signature sneaker contract. Wade has built something that he has equity in and that can be a part of his family's legacy. What's encouraging as well is that the Wade brand and Way of Wade signature line continues to evolve and grow even with Dwayne being retired. That's the sign of the longevity he signed up to build in 2012, that that's paying off and the same thing can happen with other athletes if if they can find the right partner to work with in the process. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Was this the best business decision of D Wade's professional career? And are you rocking his way of Wade signature shoes? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And we'll be back with more topic tackle coming soon. As always, stay solid, people.